Configurable events are one of the most powerful features of the C-Connect 370. Events have two components, a trigger and an action. When an I.O. channel crosses a threshold or meets a specific criteria, a trigger is generated and the data value is recorded. A corresponding action specifies where that data value is to be sent, currently either DWE or CCloud. Let's look at the events in more detail. When you log in to the C-Connect 370 configuration webpage, click on the Events tab in the top menu. This can be found under the hamburger icon in mobile browsers. We created four demo events that will be explained at the end of this video. First, let's take a look at how we create new events. Click the green plus sign, which opens a new panel. Give your event a name. Here we've called this one Demo Event. Next, select the trigger type. There are six basic trigger types. Digital input, analog input, periodic interval, device power on, onboard temperature, and one wire temperature input. Triggers are the if part of an event, and actions are the then part. Let's look at the digital input trigger. You can select one of the four digital inputs. These trigger whenever the input changes state. The action specifies where the data is to be sent. Currently, you can send data to Dweet. You must specify a device name. Visit dweet.io for more information. The preferred action is to send data to C-Level C-Cloud service. No further configuration is required. You can click Add to create a new event or click Cancel to exit. Let's look at the analog input trigger. You can select one of the two analog inputs. Threshold. For analog inputs, onboard temperature and one wire input types, these trigger whenever the specified threshold value is crossed in either direction. Counts are the digital representation of the analog value. Basically, it's the voltage divided by the resolution. Hysteresis. This is the amount of time in seconds that the threshold has to be crossed before triggering an event. Let's look at periodic interval triggers. You can select the digital inputs, analog inputs, onboard thermometer, or one wire sensor. You then specify the number of seconds between trigger updates. Let's look at power on trigger. This simply creates a trigger whenever the device powers up, like after a power failure. Let's look at the onboard temperature trigger. Here, you can set the same threshold in hysteresis settings as an analog input trigger. And lastly, Let's look at the one-wire temperature trigger. You then select the one-wire device by ID number. You can connect up to 10 one-wire temperature sensors. You can set the same threshold in hysteresis settings as an analog input trigger. Let's cancel out of this event. Here are the events that you saw at the beginning that were created for this demonstration. The first event is named Door Open. There is a door contact switch connected to digital input 1. Whenever the door is opened or closed, the input state changes and the status is sent to C-Cloud. The second event, named One Wire Temp, has an external temperature sensor connected to the One Wire input on the 370. In this example, we configured a periodic event to send an update to C-Cloud every 300 seconds, or 5 minutes. In the event of a power failure, the third event, named Power Cycle, sends a status update to C-Cloud whenever the 370 powers up. Lastly, the fourth event, named Board Temp, uses the onboard temperature sensor. We configured a periodic event to send an update to C-Cloud every 900 seconds, or 15 minutes. If you create an event that you no longer need, you can click the checkbox next to the event and then click the Delete Selected Events button. You can create up to 11 discrete events on the C-Connect 370 and assign each one a custom name based on location, function, or something else entirely. To recap, an event occurs when a trigger condition has been met and the action specifies where the data is to be sent. To add even more capabilities to your C-Connect events, log into C-Cloud to see the data trends and additional ways that you can interact with the data. If you have a great idea for other event triggers and actions, let us know by sending an email to cconnect at clevel.com or find us on Twitter and LinkedIn. If you have a custom C-Connect application, give us a call.